the old BMW Vista, which is now closed and moved and renamed to BMW Carlsbad. Nice little group here this morning. We're going out to BMW Performance Center West in Thermal. What the hell color is that? I've never seen that. Donington Gray. I actually really like the X6M a little bit less so. I'll take an X3 or an X5M in that color, no doubt. 92M3, Melvin Red. It's got beepers on HREs. Uh, a little bit of MPE action there for Ben. And it's a uh, two pedal car. Weird to see this empty. This whole lot used to be full of new BMWs. I think that might be Lake Henshaw. I don't know where the hell we are. I've never been out here. This might be Highway 76 or something. The group's gotten split up a little bit. They told everybody to arrive with a full tank of fuel, which I did. Well, I filled it up yesterday and drove home and then up to Vista, so it was seven eighths or so. But uh, a couple cars had to pull off and I assume refuel at that gas station or have an emergency pit stop. but. Um, 944, does that say the length name? I cannot read that while driving, I don't know, it might not. 944, so we're about an hour and a half out, um, if we're on time. No one's doing anything crazy, which is good. Okay, the roads are unbelievable out here. I'm not even sure where we are, but of course we've gotten behind a mobile home pulled by a pickup truck. What are we, 30, 33 miles an hour? Awesome. So I got a trail of 400 horse, except for the Ford. 400 plus horsepower cars behind me. What is that thing? 550, 600 horsepower now in the M3. And we're down to 20. But we'll make the best of it. This is pretty neat. Okay, we're coming up on the Salt Sea now. I've never uh, had the M5 actually this far out. This is about halfway across the state. This is what I always film right before we land at San Diego International Airport. It's this big ass sea out in the middle of the desert as we hit Imperial County here. Um, that was kind of formed accidentally in the early 1900s. Irrigation waters from uh, the Colorado River flooded and it took years to repair that. So the water goes to the low point. We're about, I think it's two or 300 feet below sea level out here in the Salton Basin. Uh, so that water out there is not a mirage. That is uh, the Salton Sea, which is home to a lot of dead fish and birds. Uh, it's a body of water with no natural inflow or outflow, so anything that gets in there stays in there. So it has an extremely high salt content. All the irrigation runoff uh, is full of uh, fertilizer, so your nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus content is super high. It's kind of an ecological disaster out here. If you do some research on it, it's very interesting. Yeah, this is cool. So there's this massive palm tree farm, almost said factory, on uh, what would be the northwest shore of the Salton Sea. And it just goes on and on and on. And it's deep. It's all the way from here over to the shore of the sea. Got to be billions of dollars worth of, I don't know, king palms, whatever they are. M8 competition. Here we go.
M340i's and it's polished concrete which makes for a lot of fun. This place is incredible. This whole building is full of GT3s. Um, someone's with the slats and the fenders. What is that, an RS? Joe, shoot me a text. Probably be wrong. We just got a hot lap with the instructors. Uh, just a few minutes faster than my lap. They, they're allowed to turn DSC off and go sideways around all the corners. We are not, uh, because that would kill some cars probably. This is very cool. A little waterfall, swings, and a heated pool as if you'd need it at 108 degrees. 
to look out point at night is a serene place, minus the uh, Challenger. Probably can't see shit, but it is like 80 degrees up here, comfortable. Oh, that's cool. It's all at Coachella Valley, Palm Springs, Palm Desert. A lot of people and a lot of money down there. I don't know that you'll see it, but we've got Saturn. That one's very visible, that's Jupiter. And uh, Uranus is up there somewhere as well. 233,000 miles. That took a while. Um, with the 540, I'm really not driving this very much. And with all the travel this year, uh, it's only been probably two or 3,000 miles in the whole calendar so far, and it's October. And we're back. That was a long day. Um, it's five minutes till midnight here on Friday night. I got up at like 6.40 this morning and uh, headed out about 7.25 up to BMW Vista, uh, which has closed and moved, actually. I heard rumors about a year or two years ago from a customer that BMW Escondido was closing and merging with Vista, and they were going to move it to Carlsbad. And that put me in a funk for the rest of the day. I was like, they're going to kill two North County San Diego BMW dealerships. And yes, they are fairly close together. And no traffic, it would be 15 to 20 minutes to go from Escondido to Vista. Um, and I'm thinking, like, where the hell am I going to get all my BMW parts now? I'm not going to drive to Carlsbad or down to San Diego or up to Marietta or Riverside to go get parts. That's going to be 50 minutes each way. It's never going to happen. Um, thankfully, it looks like they chose to merge maybe Encinitas. Yeah, that's what they did. They merged Encinitas and Vista and moved it to Carlsbad. And as the area changes and people move to different places and money and wealth in the county moves around, it ultimately makes sense. And I don't really give a shit because I would only go over to BMW Vista about once a year for some obscure part that I needed right now that they had. And, and that was before I had access to my wholesale suppliers that uh, 95 times out of 100 have that part that I need today in stock in the local warehouse. I'm just checking now to make sure my water bottle didn't leak on the seat. And it didn't, the seat was dry, but the hat I had on there was damp, which was probably from my sweaty head in thermal today, 107 degrees. So we drive out there from Vista, um, longest way possible, but gorgeous roads. I had never even seen some of these way out there. Um, unfortunately, I kind of lost the group for a while and seems like most drivers did. Um, leaving Vista at 8.15, 8.20 a.m., there was a ton of traffic and just commuters and workers trying to, trying to get around. And that meant that uh, through the 4,600 traffic lights we had to go through, the group got broken up. And since we didn't have a, an actual route map or anything more than a, a brief verbal instruction 20 minutes prior. We kind of just followed some other BMWs and then eventually we got out there far enough and got separated enough that you just put it in your phone and say, give me directions to BMW Performance Center West, at, at which point it takes you the quickest route, which is not what I wanted to do. But we made it. Um, I was 30 minutes early because I just gave up and said, okay, give me the directions. And it took me way out to the Salton Sea um, in Imperial County and then north on 86 along Salt and left on 81st Street. I don't know why I remember that. It feels like two days ago already, but super fun today. Um, I almost didn't go. There's so much going on at the shop and I'm already behind and I'm about to head out of town on Wednesday for like two weeks. So the, t the timing on this was absolutely horrendous, but I'm very glad that I went. Um, it was an honor to be selected and, and included in this group. It was a VIP group put on by BMW Carlsbad. Um, and I'm not really even a client of BMW Carlsbad, to be honest with you. Not that I'm actively trying not to be. It's just not my nearest, most convenient dealership. So kind of the same thing in December. We had the, the drag races, the big track, uh, the drift pad, which is polished concrete with these little sprinklers that come up five millimeters and wet it down. It was just a fun ass day. Met a ton of people, unbelievable networking opportunity. Met a bunch of prospective clients, a couple previous clients. Uh, some fellow shop owners, people that I can work with symbiotically here in town. So I'm really glad I went. And then after the Performance Center, they had rented this absolute palatial mansion in Bermuda Dunes, which is near Palm Desert. So we went over there for dinner. Um, I had an open bar, though I had to drive two hours, two and a half hours home, so I didn't get to take too much advantage of that. Um, just hung out, talked to a bunch of people, and then came home. So it's just about midnight. Wonderful drive home. Um, driving the M5 hours past like minutes, it was, it didn't skip a beat. This car was phenomenal today. 
takeaways over the 540 now that I'm so used to that. One, uh, throttle is greatly improved. I'm talking sensitivity and of course power output significantly better. Steering, much quicker, much more precise. Brakes, firmer, tighter, stronger, mostly due to my E65 master cylinder and European rotors don't hurt. Most notably the suspension. The M5 on a fresh OEM set of shocks and struts feels rough. It feels like it beats you up a little bit on rough roads and the 540 just gobbles everything up and it's like, oh yeah, there was a bump there. Doesn't really tell you much about it. This thing will let you know like, hey, that was rough. Don't do that again. Um, I kind of like the 540 suspension better for normal driving. But once you start going through the twisties and throwing the car around, obviously this is much better. I found out that an E39 M5 can't really keep up with a uh, G80 M3 competition. Different league, different car, different time period. I did pretty well for not being a professional driver and probably driving to about eight tenths of my ability. Certainly the hardest I've, I've pushed the car in corners in a couple of years at this point. It did fine. Uh, I left DSC on the entire time. I could tell the M3 had it off. I don't turn it off. I'm not willing to risk that. A ton of fun. Time for bed for me. Um, I got to get some sleep. I got to be up in like seven hours for cars and coffee. Then an FOC board meet tomorrow. Client pickup at one o'clock. Um, putting the fan in the red car over here tomorrow afternoon. It is just nuts. I've got plans for Sunday. I'm not going to have a weekend to sleep in now until uh, around November which is depressing, but I'm gonna go sleep now. Night.